This is a quick tutorial. If you ever have a PDF that you can't separate the different images in in your Illustrator to separate everything, go to File, New. I'm working with the 4K video, so I'm clicking 4K UHD, clicking Create, then File, Place, find the original PDF that you want to bring in, click Place, put it on the screen, make it the size that you want by holding down shift and dragging. Then you go up to window, click links. In the links panel, click the document you brought in, click the little hamburger menu in the upper right corner, click on embedded images. It might say some of the fonts are missing. I'm going to ignore the fonts that are missing and click close. And now if we use the direct select tool, which is the shortcut A, we can zoom in using the alt button on the keyboard and the scroll wheel. And whenever we click and drag around an item, the document is now editable. So for this one, I want to use this logo, so I'm going to click and drag. If you can't see what you're clicking and dragging, press Control shift d so you see the non-transparent background. And then click and drag. You've now selected the vector file. I'm going to copy with Control c I'm going to go to File, New, and again, I'm going to go to a 4K UHD file, click Create, and I'm going to click anywhere on the screen and hit Control V to paste. Then I'm going to use the selection tool, which is V, and it puts this little box around it. I'm going to hold down Shift and drag to make this image the size I want. And since I'm working in Premiere, so I'll go to File, Export, Export for Screens. It looks like the shortcut's Control Alt E. Click that. I'm going to make this into a JPEG since I don't want a transparent background. I'm going to keep the scale at 1 since this is a 3840 by 2160 file, I believe. I'll save it in the location that I want to. Once I'm in the folder, I'll click Select Folder. And I'll just select the artboard that I want. In this case, it's Artboard 1, so I'll unselect Artboard 2. Then click Export Artboard. A new window will pop up one that says 1x, so I'm going to click it. I'm going to click the artboard. It looks like it's saved properly. I'm going to double check the file size. So right click, properties, details, and it's 3840 by 2160, so it's the correct size. Yeah, I don't know why this is so unintuitive in Illustrator, but uh, one thing I forgot to record. If you do want to save this as a vector file, I uh, go to File, Save As, and then you can save it as an SVG or an Illustrator file. And that's it. Hopefully this helped you out.